Well, that's Chuck Berry, the father of rock and roll, performing on his 90th birthday. Now, he passed away before he turned 91, but now we're approaching what would have been his 100th birthday. Sydney Stallworth is joining us live from U-City with the years-long celebration set to start later this month, Sydney. Michelle Bernie, that's exactly right. Take a look at where we are in the Del Mar Loop. You can't come out here without taking a moment to see this Chuck Berry statue here, larger than life as he's hitting one of his iconic dance moves there here at the Del Mar Loop and uh, his star not far from here as well. Now, one thing we're going to do in St. Louis is honor one of our own, an entire display here for Chuck Berry, talking about his connection to the area, the legacy he leaves behind, and that's the plan over the next several years to honor the father of rock and roll and you don't have to wait too long to do that because the festivities are going to start later on this month. These are the moves that put Chuck Berry on the map decades ago and you'll see those moves again pretty soon and even get a chance to bust a couple of moves yourself. All you have to do is head to the Chuck Berry House exhibit that'll be at Evolution Festival, one of the biggest music festivals in our area. That's going to be this year, September 28th to the 29th. You can see one of Barry's Cadillacs, other uh, memorabilia and rare photos of the entertainer that they'll have on display. And you can even record yourself doing the iconic You Never Can Tell dance from Pulp Fiction that was made famous by John Travolta. And by the way, this year is also the 30th anniversary of Pulp Fiction too. another reason to celebrate. And during the Evolution Festival on September 28th, we're going to hear the first single from a brand new Chuck Berry tribute album that was produced right here in St. Louis. The full album will be released in 2025. And by the way, guys, this is all part of a series of a year long celebration to honor Barry and it's called Chuck 100 here in town. Now there are some other collabs planned, including one with the St. Louis Symphony and many more. I'm going to go over those other ones and how you can even celebrate Chuck Berry's legacy over the holidays, guys. All of that coming up in our next half hour. But for now, live in the Del Mar Loop, I'm Sydney Stallworth, five on your side.